Hi, I'm Nixie and it's my geek box time. Um, lovingly handled by the Postal Service as always. <laughs> um, this is the September 2016 My Geek Box and this would be no theme number seven. So, here to stay I guess. <laughs> I don't have much to say in relation to the whole no theme thing. And this box actually turned up when it was supposed to. But it has been fighting back already. <laughs> so here we... Oh, oh. Another white t-shirt. Go along with this one. Boom! Oh, is there... Wait, is there two? That is way too small. I have no idea what that is. Right, we're gonna hide those. Just because much I love the t-shirts. We might as well just leave them towards the end. Hey! It's adorbs! Wait a minute! <laughs> this is the wrong time of the month. Um, so yeah, good old adorbs. If you watch the uh, Pop in a Box videos, I get a few of these already as part of my uh, Pop in a Box subscription. Um, this is Assassin's Creed 2. We've got a couple of little bits and bobs in there, which we'll see in a moment. So, Assassin's Creed, not really my thing. Got lots of little people whose names I probably couldn't tell you if I tried. <laughs> At least I'm honest about it. You know? I'm not going to pretend I can't really remember their names off the top of my head. Ooh, you are heavy. You feel really strangely heavy. So, he has the adorable little kind of Assassin's Creed uniform with the hood. I do like the hoods. Not gonna lie. All the kind of Assassin's Creed hoods are kind of cool looking. He's got his cool little uniform. All kind of painted on because it is a dorb. So painted on as opposed to molded. Like some of the details on the standard pop figures. And his little cloak, which is kind of molded detail. It's cute. And a lovely little adorable face. <laughs> so Assassin's Creed, yeah, not my thing. But he's cute. And I'm not going to try and say his name because I don't know what it is. <laughs> so there we go. So a figure. Yay. I have no idea what I'm going to do with this one. He's vastly, vastly outnumbered by a lot of <laughs> different franchises. Uh, so is this, really. So collectible figures for Adventure Time. It's another thing. I don't really do. So Fiona and Cake, the cat? That I guess it's a cat. It's a very strange looking cat if it is. And there's all the other ones you could get. So there's Finn and Slime Princess, Jake and Tree Trunks. Okay. Lumpy Space Princess and Brad. That's an interesting combination. Can I just say? I quite like that one. So yeah, collectible figures, licensed collectible figures, Cartoon Network. It's not bad in terms of figures, but Adventure Time just doesn't float my boat. Uh, what is this? This is this is a thing. This might turn out to be a big thing. Um, yes, <laughs> it is going to fold out to something big. Oh my lordy lou. Um, Jikes! I am being attacked by a Pikachu. Wow. Okay, I can't even... Your Pikachu needs you, allegedly. Um, this is a massive, massive poster. I can't even... It's literally covering the entirety of my desk, including the bit that you can't see over there. Um, that usually has my pushed back monitor. Um, this is ridiculous. If you're a Pokemon fan, that is really, really cool. Um, I probably don't have any wall space left for anything this size. I would not have expected a poster this big. It's is really, really shiny. Um, it does have the kind of textured look. Sadly, without ac any actual texture to it. It's a little bit too shiny for that, so that takes away from it a little bit for me, personally. Um, but that's actually pretty cool, just sheer size alone. 
that's actually pretty neat. And yes, the colors are as you think they are. You, your screen is not malfunctioning. My video isn't that bad. Um, <laughs> the colors have been muted like that on purpose. Like I said, it's sort of an old style, kind of very deliberate, but but still with the shiny gloss of a modern poster. So it's a strange. This thing is ridiculous though. <laughs> get away. Get away. I don't have enough space for you. Get out. Get out of here. Right, go away. <laughs> I don't think I folded it correctly again, but never mind. That's that's how we roll around here. So T shirt and what is this? Yeah, you can probably hear the box being <laughs> used and abused in the corner. It is another T shirt. What? What? I do love double t-shirts, but I never expect them when they actually do turn up. This is just something that happens every so often. I think this is the second time now that this has happened. So, Big Bat Bot Ink. I don't know if this is just a generic bot thing, or if this is referencing something in particular, because it doesn't ring any bells for me. Um. The t-shirt is a little thin though, it's definitely not quite the same quality as the standard shirts. Yeah, it is it is a little thin, it might not be visible on camera as much, but I can see my hand a little bit too clearly through the shirt from, from my comfort. So that's actually a pretty cool design. I just, like I said, I'm not quite sure if that's referencing something specific or not. Everybody in the comments, please, if you actually know what that could be. I would appreciate it. Sometimes I just get confused. If you know the particular name of the Assassin's Creed character, well, Assassin's Creed 2 character, that would also be helpful. Because I will just get them confused. And I will tag the wrong character. <laughs> Not on purpose. Uh, so this is... A Star Wars shirt. I'm probably never going to say that correctly though. But Tatooine. So yes, it's the cantina from Star Wars. So this is the standard shirt. That's a little bit better. Yeah. Sorry, thin white shirts are never a good thing. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Do not perpetuate the super thin white shirts. Some of us can't wear them. So, yeah, that's cool. I quite like that. Very, very simple in terms of shirt design, but that doesn't put me off. This is a t-shirt of very simple geeky design of things being better in two dimensions. Um, so yeah, I like that. That's pretty neat. I like that it's quite sort of understated rather than over the top, look at me, geek. Yeah, that's kind of good looking overall. So, hooray! Two shirts! <laughs> I will definitely not complain about getting two shirts, even though I got really confused at there being a second shirt, which I've crumpled to death already. Good job. Well done. We're very professional here, everybody. This is a very professional video. The sarcasm. So, we have those. We have that. We have this. Uh, we are not unfolding the poster again, because nobody needs to go through that <laughs> ever again. Please stop. Please stop. Bad poster. So, that's pretty good, actually. So, I know I don't particularly like these two figures, but I think a lot of people who get these probably will like these. And I probably know some people who would like these as a gift. So, you know. These are actually useful in the sense that if you don't like it, you probably know somebody who does. So, two t-shirts. Okay, yeah. Two t-shirts. I'm going to keep saying it. It's great. Uh, the slightly thin, different quality of this one's not fantastic for me. Um, but it's actually kind of neat design. That's a pretty neat design. Star Wars. I'm okay with that. The poster! <laughs> If you could get this framed, this would look pretty nice up on a wall. Framed. It's a really big poster. I find with really big posters like this, if you try and stick this up without a frame, using like thumbtacks 
or a uh, blue tack, you'll probably end up destroying the poster eventually. It will probably just end up tearing. So these are usually better if you can get them framed. I don't know if there's any kind of standard frame sizes over here for this. There probably will be because this is a British box. Um, sometimes getting frame sizes is difficult depending on where you get things from. Because America and the UK tend to have different uh, frame sizes for some reason. As somebody who has very large art prints, yeah, it's a thing, trust me. So, ta-da! That's a pretty good haul. I'm okay with this. No theme, my geek box. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> so, if you could like, comment, subscribe if you're not already subscribed to the channel. There should be something in the corner, just lurking over here somewhere, probably. Over here. Um, if you can actually see it, that you should be able to click on to subscribe. If it works. Good old watermarking. Uh, thank you. Uh, so that's it. And I will see you all very soon for another video. Fingers crossed. <laughs> so I'll see you soon. Bye bye.